What's up, ladies and gentlemen, Nate here from Out of the Basement, bringing you a brand new figure review. Today, we are looking at Dr. Herbert West from NECA Toys. This is part of the eight inch clothed figure line. This is my first figure like this from NECA. I'm a huge fan of Reanimator, so finally being able to have a figure of Dr. Herbert West is awesome, especially a nice big figure like this that comes with some really great accessories. So taking a look at the package, you can see Dr. West and Dr. Hill right there. Looks really good. Age is 17 and up, which is awesome. I just noticed that. It's pretty funny. On the back, you've got some action shots of the figure, what he comes with, and a short bio right there, and my reflection. How's it going? So if you want to read that, you can go ahead and pause it right there. We're gonna get this guy open. We're gonna take him out of the package and give him a look. And of course, before we take a look at the figure itself, we're gonna take a look at the accessories here and be careful when you're opening this guy because uh, he's sharp. <laughs> so yeah, I cut my freaking thumb open trying to get this guy out of the package. Hurts like a son of a gun. But we're going to take a look at the accessories anyway. I'll be a little bit bloody and, you know, it'll just add to the fact that this is a reanimator review. We've got the shovel right here that decapitates Dr. Hill with lots of nice, gory, bloody detail. You can see some rivets there from it looking like an actual shovel and being a used shovel. The handle here is nice painted wood. It's got little grooves in it as well. It's kind of hard to see on camera, but you can see them a little bit there. Nice grooves in the wood, looks really good, looks like an actual shovel. He also comes with a syringe of the reagent, which also looks very good. Nice little detail there, the silver tip. The green on the inside looks really nice, so yeah, nice translucent plastic too all around. Digging that, and he comes with a bottle of reagent, which again, looks really good. Nice clear bottle all the way around actually looks like a little glass container of the reagent you got dr west's pocket protector with his pens and pencils there in case he needs to write notes you know such as cat dead details later here's the dead cat as well which looks really good really happy with the way this turned out nailed the crazy eye look that the cat has in the movie the guts and everything look disgusting that's pretty awesome though. I'm glad that they included this great part of the movie. And then of course, we've got Dr. Hill. We've got Dr. Hill's head, which looks really good. Really close likeness to the actor. Disgusting decapitated head parts right there that look absolutely disgusting. Seriously though, this looks so much like the actor that plays Dr. Hill. That is awesome. Really, really love this head. <laughs> and then here's the little pan that he also sits in and that looks great lots of nice silver some light red blood dark red blood good mix in there with the paint and I really like this sort of detail that it has on the outside of it this like I don't know speckling I guess you can see a little blood falling out from the side there too so that looks really good let's take a look at Dr. West and here is Dr. West out of the packaging and he looks great I'm really excited about this figure. Uh, some things kind of bother me just on an initial first impression, but I don't think there's really any way to go around it, especially in terms of how much this guy costs. So I'm not really gonna sit here and just shit all over it. Uh, Cause this guy, he's a little bit more than a normal NECA figure. I believe he's 30, $35, something like that. Uh, if you wanna pick him up. But as you can see, he's got cloth goods, and I know some people hate cloth goods on small figures like this, but I don't mind them. I think they look pretty good for the most part. Um, just an initial first impression here. The only thing I think is a little weird is that the, the tie is a separate piece right here. Let me get this closer so you can see the tie is a separate piece. So it's kind of hard to get it looking like it is an actual tie you can from the front and of course I'm having a tough time keeping his collar down and it just kind of flares up and you can see the tie so if someone's got a fix for that let me know that's pretty much my only like ugh, I wish that I could actually just get his collar to rest instead of flaring out like that but not really that big of a deal this is a velcro piece right here and you can ooh, 
we'll get a little sexy Dr. West. I don't know. <laughs> but uh, yeah, that is just a Velcro piece right there that holds the tie. Um, so let's take a close look here. We'll take a look at the details of the face, which I think the likeness to Jeffrey Combs is pretty good. It looks a little different, but really the mouth nails it. Like, when, especially when you got him looking down in the glasses. Uh, the glasses are attached to the head, can't take those off. He's got a little blood splatter on the side of his face right there, which looks really good. Nice and accurate to the movie. He's even got some stubble you can see. I've got a weird paint chip on mine right there, uh, right on the chin. I don't know if it's like that for everyone, but it's there for me. Otherwise, I think the paint apps are really clean. The hair is all clean. There's not really a whole lot of bleeding onto the skin tone there. So looking all the way around the head, you can see that even around the ears, the paint is pretty clean from the hair. Not a whole lot of bleeding there, but yeah, the rest is all cloth good. And I think the material is okay. It feels a little flimsy. You can see the threads everywhere. So that's kind of a bummer. The jacket is a little thin. You can see through it. But again, for his price for a cloth figure, it's really, it's really pretty affordable. The hands also look pretty good. He's got nice veins detailing on his hands. And of course, you can hold the reagent with that hand. That's why it's posed like that. And he's just wearing black pants nothing too special underneath and you've got his shoes right here which look pretty good they're nice and clean painted they've got their shiny black plastic so they reflect really nicely the paint around the shoe is pretty clean this little beige piece uh, for the sole of the shoe looks good so let's see what the articulation is like on this guy his head of course is on a ball joint so you get all sorts of good movement his head can look up just there we go his head can look up that far it can look down a decent amount uh, no ab crunch on this guy he does have a waist swivel though so you can swivel him around uh, what would what feels like to me are single jointed elbows which ugh, look at all that plastic build up right there all those paint chips right there that are about to come right out yeah that's great yeah that's awesome so uh, yeah, just had a bunch of paint flake off right there. So that's really cool. Uh, just kidding, that's that's total sarcasm there. Yeah, so single jointed elbows, it feels like this wrist is like that too. Ugh. So be careful around the wrist of your Herbert West. Looks like the paint likes to chip off right there. Uh, single jointed knee, which gives you barely any range of motion. Not a whole lot going on there. His legs can kick out pretty far so at least you got that going for it and you can see right here his boot is just on a hinge so you can get it to move down just about that much and pretty far forward honestly no ankle pivot at all on the clothes figure so let's compare him let's give him some scale here so you guys can see how big he is um, I've got a NECA Jason right here. This is from the Ultimate line, so you can see right there. These are definitely out of scale. Jason would be much taller than Dr. Herbert West, so he's not really going to scale with your NECA figures. And then I figured I'd compare him to one of the only other clothed good figures I have, which is this uh, Mezco 112 Deathstroke. Of course, they're completely out of scale. I'm not really surprised. This is a seven, eight inch scale figure. This is a six inch scale, so. There you go, you can see the height difference there. Dr. West is definitely gonna be in a league all his own if you're trying to mix him in with your horror figures. Uh, I think it's fine though. I'm not really a person who's like super crazy about all of, his, all of my figures being in the same scale. So I'm still gonna put him with all my horror stuff. He's gonna look fine. Uh, so overall, I would say that the paint issues and some of this threading stuff is a little disappointing on the figure, but having a reanimator figure finally is amazing. Thank you, NECA. I can't really sit here and complain and complain and complain when they finally made a figure of one of my favorite horror movies, one of my favorite horror movie characters. So I'm very excited to at least have a Dr. Herbert West figure. Uh, I definitely think if you're a fan of Reanimator, this is an easy pickup. I mean, but however, if you're not too big into the movie, I would say that this could be an easy pass for you. 
This is not essential unless you are a big fan of the movie. So with that being said, I do recommend this figure if you are a fan. If not, I would say, you know, you, you can hold off. Get something else that you'd rather appreciate a little bit more because this figure I feel like is just for fans of Reanimator, not really for anyone else. So I recommend this guy for fans of Reanimator. Let me know what you guys think of this Dr. West figure in the comments down below, of course. Oh my god. Did not want him to fall like that. <laughs> so let me know what you guys think of this figure in the comments down below. Do you like it? Do you hate it? I'd love to hear either way from you. Of course, if you enjoyed this review, don't forget to leave a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new. Ring that bell so you can get notifications on all of my action figure reviews and all of our other great content that we have on Out of the Basement. I'm Nate. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next time. Thank you.